Hello Icon students, uh, I'm making this video to welcome you to my class and so what I'm going to do in this short little video is I'm going to go over um, my class and show you some of the things that make my classes kind of unique and uh, hopefully that will give you some tips as to how to approach this class and, and how to do well. So um, I'm looking over here at Vietnam History. That's a class that I enjoy teaching. I, I really enjoy teaching all of them, but it, this is kind of special because it's cool. It's a Vietnam War. and So anyway, I'm going to open up. I'm going to start with the course overview. If you're watching this, you have likely already turned this in, but I wanted to point something out here. Grading policy. Okay, lessons are 20% of your total grade. Projects are 30% of your total grade. Quizzes are 25% of your total grade. And tests are 25%. Um, what that means is generally people do pretty well on lessons because you've got three times to pass them. And you, if you make 75%, or uh, better the first try, then you're good, and you've got three tries. Most people generally earn 75% or more on their lessons, but the problem with that is that's only one-fifth of your overall grade. Projects are the largest part of your grade because this being a history class, it's kind of project-oriented. We've got lots of essays and movies and that kind of stuff, and so these are weighted kind of heavy. Uh, if you choose to skip, say, your key terms or um, a movie worksheet or doing the essay, you're going to find that it really hurts your grade. So that's one of the things that you want to try to avoid. Quizzes and tests are 25% of your grade total, 50% of your grade when you think of it. And so you want to try to do really well on the quizzes and tests. And this year, I'm going to be sending out study guides in front of each quiz. Well, that is if you're staying on pace and I can stay ahead of you. There may be times when you get ahead of me, but I will try to get those study guides out as quickly as possible. And uh, so you, you want to slow down for those. You do not want to fly through this because it will devastate your grade. Okay, some kind of unique assignments. Um... I'll start with the unit video. I did a little survey last year and I asked students about the, my classes and what they wanted and what was interesting is they told me they wanted the videos first and the key terms last and so I, uh, I listened to them. I did that. Okay, let's see. There I am. And uh, I put the key terms last and I put the videos first because that's what they wanted so I'll show you this. Um, I have an excellent video series for Vietnam and uh, I try as hard as I can to get the best videos as possible for all my courses. And so whether you're taking me for Vietnam or something else, you, especially if it's history, you probably have some videos that, that I'm going to have you watch. Generally, they're about an hour long. You don't have to watch them all in one sitting. And uh, generally, I have them embedded in the Odyssey War Lessons. Like this one is called The Roots of a War, and it basically gives you the background of the Vietnam War, the lead up, including the, the war with the French. So I, I put this a little further on so you could read about some of that. When you To get credit for a movie, you have to download the movie worksheet, which you get by clicking this link here, and then you watch the movie, answer the questions, and you turn in the movie worksheet uh, by attaching it down here. So there's a place to attach these when you go to turn them in, and uh, that's how I give you credit for those. So that's one of the assignments. Uh, on those movie worksheets, by the way, the, the other thing that I should mention on these, I put the movies in here to help you, and, and, and I thought, you know, okay, some of these things are linked to my old website. And so if that ever happens to you, by the way, you click on the movie worksheet thing and it says page not found, then um, you, you just got to click it again. And so when you, I know part of this is cut off, but when you look at this, um, there's a lot of questions on here, and I don't want you to take three hours to watch a movie. And so uh, the way that I grade these is fairly easily. You know, if, if you've answered most of most of these questions, then I give you points. In other words, for example, it says, what two issues, take, take a look at 27. What two issues were still unresolved the day before the conference ended? Why did China force the Viet Minh to compromise on these two issues? Well, what if you were writing the first part of that, the two issues, and they answered the second part? I don't want you to pause the movie and go back. You're fine with just answering the first part. What I do kind of mark you down on pretty badly is if you skip the short essay. And the short essay is basically your chance to tell me what you thought of the film and, and, and what kind of point you thought they were trying to make. It's not to, I don't grade you on structure and all that like in other essays. I just want some stuff in there. If you give me one or two paragraphs, you're going to get 100% on that. So I'm going to kill this and go back to, uh, there you are, go back to our deal. Uh, so some other ones. I want to show you the key terms because that 
it plays a pretty big role in what you do and that is one of the things that people sometimes have troubles with so uh, every unit I assign somewhere between 15 and 20 key terms and uh, so with these key terms you want to look them up you can paste the definition for the key terms uh, from Wikipedia or whatever but then the second part of this is you have to do the significance and so when you look at this significance down here you have to look at that key term and you have to tell me why that was important one way to do the significance is you say this key term was important because and then you come up with with something and uh, people sometimes struggle with that so uh, I wanted to include that so you kinda got it generally if you have a pretty decent significance makes some kind of sense then I'm gonna give you credit for it so that's one of the things and and again I listened to people last year they told me to move these to the end they said well how are we supposed to get the significance before we've read all the lessons and I thought that's a great point so I put these at the end just before the test and of course I use the test to determine what I choose for key terms so that's where that comes from uh, unit essay so unit essay assignment every unit you have to write a multi-paragraph 600 word or more essay and you get it here in the unit essay assignment and one of the things that I wanted to show you is in every unit essay assignment I do a unit essay class and if you click on this this takes you to the class this is uh, on my website my Google site and you cruise down here and then there's even a PowerPoint that you can download that will show you and what I do in these classes is I like to walk you through how to do the essay we create what I call an essay map I say okay here's the topic first step to write in this essay is to turn the topic into a question with a question mark and we walk all the way through this and whether you come to the live class or you watch the recording you will come away with a plan of attack for the for your essay and then what I've been doing this year is I've been making YouTube videos like this one because I like this format and so I'm gonna be going through this course as you go through it and I will be making videos for these essay classes and I will actually embed the video inside the essay assignment itself if you watch an essay class or any live class in here you get credit for the unit live class assignment I want to take you to that so opening that up here's the unit live class assignment once a unit you have to come to one live class per unit I will usually offer more than one you can see on here I've got two welcome to tree halls class that's what you're watching right now and I've got the Vietnam era unit one essay class and, and again there will be a video for that at some point now if you attend the live version of a class then what you do is you go down here and you say I whoops oh, I'm on caps lock I attended the welcome to tree halls class on 128 there I give you credit if you watched recording then like you're doing right now then what you have to do is you have to call me and so to get credit for watching a recording you must contact your instructor after you've watched a recording and discuss the contents of the recorded class and of course you'll look scroll down here right here you can see my phone number you give me a call an email won't do you actually have to call me we actually have to have a conversation two-way conversation and we talk about it and and so for example on this one I would say okay what are some of the types of assignments that I give you um, how do you get credit for a live class I'm just gonna ask you some it'll take five minutes I'm gonna ask you some basic questions that that would prove that you watch this and understood this live course and then we're good When we do a unit essay it would be almost the same thing I would say <coughs> okay so how many paragraphs are you gonna answer this essay prompt with what are you gonna use for your body paragraphs what are you going to put information analysis you know how, how how are you gonna break this down and so that's what you would answer on this live class stuff and and so if you watch the recording that's how you do that okay those were the custom assignments that I wanted to show you now I'm gonna flip over to something different I wanna talk uh, very briefly about grading so okay so when we look over here this is somebody's gradebook from Vietnam history and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up to kinda show you what I do when I get these assignments 
So when I go to grade this assignment, I put a grade on it and then immediately after I do the grade, I go in and I type up some teacher notes to explain that grade, which hopefully are coming. That's exactly, there we are. So for example, with this student, hi Braden, welcome to Vietnam History. I'm looking forward to working with you this semester. I put this inside teacher notes and then if it's a very important message, like on an essay or something, I click new message and I can paste that in there and find that student by clicking this it gives me the subject line of your assignment and many of you guys who've had me in the past have seen this in your message in your OW message box in your inbox you'll see a message from me that's got an assignment name and that just meant that I, I thought the, that comment was important enough I really wanted you to catch that and I send message I don't do that for most comments. If I'm just grading a little short essay answer on one of the, the lesson assignments and you missed maybe 10 out of 20 on it or something like that, I just mark it down and I put this in teacher notes. Now this is the important part and this is one of the things that I would ask you about when you call me about the recording. How do you see your teachers comments on your grades? And the answer to that is you go back in to those assignments that you completed through your planner and then you click on them and automatically that will pop up and that teacher note will be there and I think a lot of the teachers are pretty much grading the same way as me and and I think most of us are kind of in the same place if it's really really important we put it into messages if it's not we're just gonna leave it in teacher notes there's also a help thing and I want you to kinda of consider this because this help button works both ways if I click help the message that I type in here will go into this student's message box. It will also go into their assignments due box and when they click on it, it will pull this lesson up and it will even pull up the question that I asked about. That's kind of that's kind of powerful and I want you to consider that because you guys need to use this in communicating with me. If there's something you don't understand and you really want me to pinpoint what it is, consider using that help thing because when, when I get it on my end, it's going to pull up that particular question and everything is going to be right there. So um, with that, uh, that's pretty much that pretty much concludes what I wanted to show you with uh, my class. You've kind of had a little walk around what you're going to do for this class. And so if you're watching this recording and you're using this for live class points, don't forget to give me a call and we're going to go over this. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.